Today, we're focusing on why PEI sheets are so effective, how to properly clean them with isopropyl alcohol, and how using too much IPA can actually damage your build sheet over time. I'll break down what PEI actually is, why it's such a popular choice for 3D printing, how it works on a molecular level to keep your print stuck down, and some mistakes that cost me prints until I figured out what actually works. We're also going to talk about Vision Miner's nanopolymer adhesive, why it was designed for high performance materials, but works so well for everyday filaments, and how it's completely changed the way I handle my build plates in the studio. Vision Miner is not sponsoring this video, but they are a regular sponsor of our content. So stick around because some of this may surprise you. If you find it helpful, give it a like and a subscribe and check the links in the description. I've included everything I mentioned, including a 10% discount on my favorite adhesive. All right, let's get into the sticky stuff. Let's start with the basics. What is PEI and why is it so popular for build plates? Well, PEI or polytheramide is a high temperature engineering grade thermoplastic. It's known for being chemically resistant, heat resistant, and extremely durable. Those are all qualities that make it perfect for 3D printing. It also has a high glass transition temperature. It's around 217 C, which is, I don't know, like in the low 400s, 420 Fahrenheit, but meaning it won't deform under the heat of typical print bed temperatures. But what really matters is the surface texture and the polarity of PEI. If you looked at PEI under a microscope, you'd see a microtexture of tiny peaks and valleys. That surface roughness is key to adhesion because it gives the filament something to physically grip onto as it cools and solidifies. But that's not all. PEI is also slightly polar on a molecular level. That polarity allows it to form weak electrostatic bonds called van der Waals forces between the filament and the PEI itself. These forces aren't strong chemical bonds, but they're just enough to help with adhesion while the bed is hot. And as it cools, those bonds break naturally, allowing the prints to release. So it ends up being a combination of surface texture and molecular polarity that makes PEI such a reliable build plate surface for 3D printing. But keeping that surface clean and properly textured is where things can go wrong. The most common way to clean PEI sheets is with isopropyl alcohol or IPA. And that's what I use most of the time, but there's more to it than just wiping it down. Remember, IPA is a solvent, and that's important to understand. As a solvent, it breaks down oils and grease and residue left behind by your hands, adhesives, or any of the lubricants on a 3D printer. Now it evaporates quickly, which makes it perfect for cleaning your build plate before a print. But here's the problem. If you overuse IPA, it can actually start to degrade the surface of your PEI sheet. Repeatedly wiping your plate with IPA, especially at high concentrations, like 91% or even 99, it can slowly smooth out those tiny peaks and valleys on the PEI. That's because IPA doesn't just clean, it also dissolves surface level contaminants that include the tiny fragments of PEI. So IPA is effective but too much of it can reduce the adhesion that your PEI is known for. But here's the thing, IPA isn't a requirement. Good old warm water and dish soap can be just as effective, if not better, when it comes to cleaning your PEI sheets. The key is to let the plate dry completely before printing. And most importantly, keep your fingers off the build plate. But here's an important warning, don't soak your build plates. Water and soap can actually seep under the PEI, causing it to delaminate or separate. Vision Miner's nanopolymer adhesive was originally engineered for high performance exotic engineering filaments like nylon, peak, and ultim. And it works great, of course, for PLA, PETG, and ABS too. It creates a chemical interface that grips hot above 50 to 60 C and releases clean when it cools below that 50 C threshold. You can print in the same spot on a build plate 30 to 50 times before reapplying. And now if you spread out your prints all across the plate, you can easily get hundreds of prints on a bill plate before needing to reapply. And if you need to clean it off, it's water soluble and it just washes away with soap and water easy. Now, here's an interesting story about Vision Miner, polycarbonate and bed adhesion. A couple of years ago, I was printing a polycarbonate fitting for a radiator on our John Deere turbo diesel generator. This was inside of a Ray's 3D Pro 2 3D printer using 3DX Tech polycarbonate and it happened to be the best PC available at the time. Well, polycarbonate is incredibly strong, but it's also extremely sensitive to cooling and warping. 
When I opened the printer door, I could hear the crackling as the micro fractures formed. Now, polycarbonate is expensive and you need the best tools to get it right. After contacting 3DX Tech with questions about their polycarbonate, they recommended that I try Vision Miner's nanopolymer adhesive to really hold it down. I applied it, started the print, and the difference was immediate. I mean, enough that I'll show you some B-roll of what happens when you try and remove parts while the Vision Miner is still hot. It became my go-to solution for almost everything. Now, I've got a 10% discount code in the description. If you wanna go give it a try, um, they have little sample packets. I highly recommend it, inexpensive, and uh, trust me, I mean, it's not sponsored. I literally put this on every build plate in the studio. Now, whether you're cleaning with IPA, warm water and soap, or using an adhesive like Vision Miner's Nano Palmer Adhesive, knowing how to clean that PEI sheet correctly makes all the difference. Of course, everything I mentioned today is linked below, the microfiber cloths, the adhesive, and of course that discount code. Seriously, go there. A huge thank you to all of our YouTube members and our Patreon supporters. This isn't possible without you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful, and I will see you in the next one. Seriously, go watch all of our videos. Binge them. Do it.